morning, wife is near. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. And recently, Thinkbox announced IFTTT integration. Currently the integration is better, I've got an access, uh, which means I get to test it and I'm super happy about it. What it means? It means you can take the Thinkbox actions or services and use it as a trigger to trigger IFTTT uh, recipes. So you could, for example, detect when someone's uh, arriving home and then trigger the lights on or you could, uh, I don't know, send yourself an email. Or you could go absolutely crazy and say, Hey Google, I'm the god of internet. I blocked all the devices for you. All right, I'm just messing with you. It's great because previously these options were limited to Think App, so you would receive those notifications on the mobile. Uh, right now, you could basically connect that to any other service, including Node-RED. And that got me thinking, Thinkbox code uh, comes with a very cool feature that basically shows you a chart of when someone's been home, for how long, when they arrived, when they left. And that's good if you've got a Thinkbox itself, but I thought, hmm, what about we gonna um, replicate this functionality using Node-RED alone. So if you can't afford Thinkbox just yet, and honestly you should get it because uh, with the code not enough tank you're gonna get 10 off your order and you can check the description for that link as well. So having a Node-RED itself it's really just about enough to replicate the feature. There's going to be a couple of differences between what's available through the app and what's available through the Node-RED. I've uh, introduced the chart and I've introduced uh, the notifications as well. And Thinkbox additionally uses the scanning near your Wi-Fi to receive information about the phones that are near but are not connected. So this way it kind of increases the range. I was not able to do it via uh, Node-RED. So uh, let me show you how it works and uh, well, we'll see if you like it. On the screen you can see my Thinkbox in here and you can also see my uh, Node-RED imitating the same behavior. So if you go to people, you'll see the presence. Right now it's not showing much because I've changed around the mobile so I could run this demonstration. However, on a screenshot you'll see that it shows accurately to what I can do. Uh, for example, with the Node-RED comparing to Thinkbox. Now, as you can see, I just got received a notification for uh, from Thinkbox saying that the device went offline, and this is the Pixel One we're gonna trace. Uh, the device is showing already offline on my Node server mainly because I run it manually to reflect this. Now, I'm going to turn the device, uh, turn the Wi-Fi on, and connect to the network. So first, I'm just gonna clear the notification and then I'm connecting now. So the device is going to connect in, in a moment and I should get the updates from both Thinkbox and from my Node-RED counterpart. As you can see, both updates have been received just now and I can see that on my chart, I can see that in the log of uh, what devices just go through there and I can see the pixel went today online at 2228 and my node red registered that as 2229 uh, the difference is because I'm pulling the server every X second so that's why you have a slightly different notifications Additionally, I have a system that prevents Node-RED from over notifying you so unless this is established pleasant presence for a couple of moments uh, it will ignore the false positive or false negative changes. So let's take a look at the node red right now and you can see two flows basically. This is how it looks like when you're using ping and at first I did that with ping but after ping started to misreport things I decided to use ARP node instead and you can just download that through the manage palette and obviously this is your ARP node in here and if you for, uh, for whatever reason you want to use ping instead, this is your ping node in here. So once you've got, you've got that installed, you can use this. And the difference is that it was easier for me to actually with the ping, because all you had to do, ping is reporting two values, either it's a time in milliseconds for ping to complete, 
which is a condition two, or it's false, false when the device was not reachable. And that's a switch node basically will decide what to do. If uh, basically if switch node is uh, positive and I set it to home or is home, uh, otherwise it just sets to false. And based on that, I run the rest of that um, flow. Now, because I've used ARP instead, uh, the ARP nodes responds to MAC address. When you type in your MAC address, it will report back the IP number uh, associated with that device uh, or empty variable. And it was a bit of a nonsense to actually get it to work. So I've decided to first get a switch node which responds to empty or otherwise. And then if it's empty or, uh, or if it's otherwise, it sets a different payload. So if it's not home, it sets it to away. And when it's home, it sets it to home. Now, there's a two uh, additional nodes before I'm going to do anything with this information. First of all, I'm going to start from uh, the back. Uh, and this basically uh, blocks all the messages until the value changes. So every X seconds, I'm going to receive information whether the device is online or offline. And obviously, unless this value changes, I'm not interested in making any updates uh, to the f when the device came online. Uh, or uh, with notifications because I want to receive the notification only and the text which is this text in here uh, to update only when the status changes not when the status is still the same so this is what the RB is for now uh, in addition to that I've wrote a special function which basically delays the messages what it does, it checks what is the content of the message. So if it's false, if it's positive, it's home or away. And if it receives a couple of messages in a row in here, sets to two, if it receives two messages um, as the same content, uh, it allows the message to travel through. Otherwise, it resets the counter as well. So if you're going to receive a first one positive, so second one negative, it will reset the counter. If you receive positive and positive, then on the third iteration, it will send it through. So this way, I know that uh, false positives and false negatives gonna be eliminated and I'm not going to have a small um, period when the device is only offline for a short period of time. And that's basically, it's also controlled by how often you send the information over. Uh, I would advise you to do it every one minute and then my graph is updated every five minutes. Now the graph, uh, I, before I'm going to talk about these nodes, I'm going to just quickly jump to the graph. Every five minutes I'm just uh, reading the values from uh, flow variable and send the new topic and the payload to the chart so I could populate those three values. And those three values are different depending on the person. So. Uh, every person has a value one, two, three, or four, etc. So that way I can see when they are present. And if the value is zero, uh, they or you can set it to minus one, uh, then they obviously are not on the scale. Otherwise, they're gonna follow their own respective lines, and that's how the chart works. Now, to get this all populated and to create that text message, we need to create a couple of things. And first of all, I'm just assigning the uh, join uh, ID for um, the push to go through. And then I get the date, split the date into um, hours and minutes. And then I do a couple of things uh, to prettify it, because if the numbers are uh, lower than 10, it reports it as a single digit. So if I've got seven minutes, it just gives me seven instead of zero seven. So I I've decided to convert both values, minutes, minutes and hours into 0, 1, 0, 2 kind of type of integer and then convert that into a readable time. And that's why you have this uh, 22, 29, or if that was one minute past, you'll have 2201. Now, then I compose a push, push message and the push message obviously depends on the payload. If the payload's home, then my push message says home update, husband's just got home, there is an icon, different color. And then I'm gonna do a couple of things. I assign message status, and that's the uh, line you can read from here. And uh, also payload, which is a time uh, you calculated earlier, a message color. 
and I do that because I want to basically define the color and uh, the payload of this. You know, I've got a label in here and I've got the payload here and the color here. So this is where the information is coming through. And what else do we have? And obviously if the, oh, there is a one more thing I do, I set um, the flow variable and that variable basically is set to two because husband uh, uses a second line. So when you go to husband, you will see that it reads the information from here. So I have two different payloads and two different sets. So one, this is a first set when the payload is home. Otherwise, if the payload is something else, or I can precise if the payload is away, then I've got the same set of information uh, apart from the uh, flow set, which is to zero. So on the chart, it would actually show me that the um, information is set at uh, zero on the chart and the person isn't home. So that's how um, this one works. And uh, uh, I would recommend you to do it with ARP. Uh, however, if you want to do it with ping, there's no much difference. This is basically those three nodes has to be supplemented here. And then the most of the code will work. As you can see, I was able to get the node red version working in a similar way as thing app. If you're interested in that, in the description you'll find more detailed write-up about this with all the links, node red flow, etc. If you want to get the um, thing box itself, obviously in the description you'll find that too. So for now guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, you know how to follow me on social media, you know how to use the YouTube. So stay in touch, ask the questions there, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care.